Well, you must be tired, man. And uh, this is um, the first game that we're seeing out of Victor E and Master Sloth Bear. We're in this the first phase of the uh, ADM W2. So this is this is a big round robin kind of game, and um, <laughs> it's a siren. Looks like out of Master Sloth Bear, a player that is very unknown in the tournament scene. I've never seen him play in another tournament, so I'm excited to see him play. And he's bringing a bold mage, the siren. And it looks, and it looks like on the bottom right, we have the wizard, an air school wizard. Yeah, definitely the, uh, you know, the early game is going to be extended because of this. Looks and yep, and the harmonize does go down. Yeah, so this is going to be a three channeling gate. No, <laughs> oh my god, I'm this sorry. This is why we guys. can't have you do anything. I know, right? Um... <laughs> All right. This. All right, that should be good now. You guys should be totally in this. Totally here. It's like... Brandon? Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> Are you guys talking... Are you talking to yourself, Koshit? Yes, I was. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay, anyway. So, I will say one good thing about the siren having the echo out is um, it sort of allows you to not get the gate to have more mana I mean uh you know if it saves it kind you... of helps but you need to be able to trade up basically and what I mean by that is you need to be able to knock out creatures faster than the wizard can put them down or as fast as and keep up with it and eventually just get a big board state compared to the wizard but it's yep. not easy to start getting creatures and it looks like both mages are choosing not to deploy during the second round so they're just saving up their mana for something um I mean, this could be a lot of things. Of course, it could be just like, oh, I want to save up for a Gorgon Archer, and I and I want to do a Battle Forge first. Maybe Master Sloth Bear wants to do like a, a Water Elemental. Uh, obviously, it's going to take mana. So, um, yeah, I, or we could just see Battle Forges. I guess the good news about the Gorgon Archer is if you see the Gorgon Archer, a Siren's Call, I wouldn't say nullifies it, but it makes mm. it a lot easier to deal with. That is a good point. Arcane Rain coming out for um, Victory. That means we're probably going to see a lot of sort of uh, manipulation spells out of this wizard. Instead uh, of sort of just like playing a few mana crystals. Yep, mana crystal does go down. And this is just big prep. This is going to be probably a longer game because of all the preparation that's happening. Hey. <laughs> If it goes too long, I have to go to work, but that's okay. Alrighty, well. Alright. Okay. And uh, Mass Sloth Bear. Joining us from Qatar. Yeah, Shark. Ooh, Meditation. meditation. Yep, right. I made it back. Oh, jeez, he's listening to you. With the Meditation Amulet and the, uh, <laughs> and the Echo. I mean, that'll mean he probably won't be casting another spell every round because we'll be meditating that is, so that's that is nice. he's got nice mana on the gate. i mean it, will, it won't stop the gate but it will it won't also not give him yeah. free mana yeah like um i guess with my siren i like to go naya because she acts as like a battle forge kind of thing but like this is totally yeah. a fine you know a fine Who thing to do to deploy naya? maybe he'll give naya out. i mean that'd be awesome <laughs> he's got time it's not like it's a rush right now and he's not too far down he's yeah. a little bit in, down in the channeling battle just due to the time it took to get the mana or the amulet out, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's not like it's a significant disadvantage, I don't think. Although, unless I'm missing something, he's got twenty-one, and Victor E's got seventeen. Yeah, I guess I didn't mean but the Victory wrong. Also has, channeling. Yeah, he also has seven on the gate. Right. So they're both sitting at twenty-four-ish, twenty-three, twenty-four. Yeah, and it looks like um, Go Master working? Sloth is going to actually put a uh, card on this Echo. T 
top of the other car. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a water elemental come down, but that's all of his mana, even with the channeling from the Echo. It would let him get more aggressive against that gate if he did that. So I wouldn't be against it. You know? It wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad call. It just would. It would limit what he can do this turn. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Which I think is is fine if you're going to go the water elemental route, but depending on how many dice get put onto the board, it can be the way you kill water elemental. Just keep throwing dice at it, and mm -hmm. if the other guy gets a huge dice advantage, then. Victor, he's taking his time here. Shame. Shame. Makes me wonder what makes me wonder what his plan is. You know, mm -hmm. usually if you're planning to use the gate, you've got something on there right away. You know. Yeah. His plan. Maybe all of his creatures are susceptible to Siren's Call. He doesn't want that. Oh, that I don't know. Could There's got to be at least one jelly in there. I would it's certainly hope there's at least one jelly in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's be. that's a good point, though, you made, Shark, that the Gorgon Archer, um, yeah, I mean, even in a lot of ways, the Hydra is really bad against the Siren just because it's just going to constantly be moving forward for for its slow action. And it looks like he manually had to, had to remove it, I think. But uh, Naya does come out for Master Sloth Bear. Um, I mean, I'm starting to like it. You know, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Hello. I'm here. Hey. Oh, okay, cool. I was making sure. It's weird that it just didn't take that mana from the echo. But... Well, he moved the echo on top of the of the. Of the card. Yeah. It, it when it binds, the card goes to the bottom. Yes. But what I'm saying yeah, is moved, he moved, moved the, the echo card, yeah. of the card. Oh, oh, oh you mean before. Which is, whatever. Which is backwards. Yep, tracking now. Unfamiliarity with octagon problem. Yeah. Like no, he's... He's gotten a lot of practice with the siren offline with some buddies or something. Definitely could be. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Maybe, yeah. Oops. You guys hear me? Sorry. Yeah, I can totally hear you, man. Um, okay, sweet. So, Victor E is saving up a ton of mana. Yeah, I'm curious to what he's actually going to play on that. Because I think at this it's... point, and this isn't always the case because arcane creatures are pains in the ass, especially the gremlins. Um, but I think I would have started putting dice out on the field. Yeah, like it's sort of like, what exactly is he waiting for? Though interestingly enough, the siren has another good counter to. Ooh, I don't know that oh, I was suppression Wait. orb. What? But that that's confusing to me too because he's gonna. He's yeah. Gonna <laughs> What's the point of the spawn point then? Uh, anyway, I mean, if, if he... Um, oh, he does Archer. the orb and the ob. Oh, what? Uh, I'm confused. Mordox but Obelisk. I'm interested to see how it goes. I mean, this is the old school way that you took care of swarms, is you just mana right. served them so you could just, like, just cripple But if them, you've you got know? a gate, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, like, hmm. The only thing I can think is that he has, like, a, um, what is it, a, a mana... What, mana Spire? No, no, no. What, what is the word? Oh, the, the mana... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it, it basically, if you have to spend mana because of cards like this, it just collects on there and then it distributes back to your mage when you get to isn't like. It, isn't it enemy controlled effects, though? Uh, I'm thinking. I thought it was just anything. I don't remember. Um, I guess where I was going with this, though, is I would at least put gremlins down, but then I realized that the Saren actually does have a pretty good. I wouldn't call it a counter, but a good way to mitigate the gremlins, too, and that's Shadow Sea. Oh, yeah. That's the. Oh, oh geez. Two Dice Piercing one still. Yes, two dice creature one's still decent, but I mean, considering you you basically play him for a cheap three dice creature, yeah. you can do a lot of different things. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, mana prism is what we're thinking of. There we go. I knew it was something. And a spell or ability an opponent controls. Ah, yep. Well, huh. mana. it appears that it doesn't work. Well, that's 
Interesting. I I don't know what he's planning on doing then. Next, maybe. <laughs> Pretty sure I fixed that. Hmm. Just for reference, if anyone that's listening that uh, is in the tournament, it is a thing. Yep, it's leaving. <laughs> If anyone's listening and they find uh, stuff like this, feel free to just message us before and so we can fix it. I know I actually worked on that and mm. it and it worked. Um so that tells me that I forgot to upload it. How <laughs> dare you? Uh, I was too busy <laughs> when I was on leave. It's all right, I'll fix it. It's not, not a hard thing. Yeah. I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so he has negated Naya's channeling, basically. Uh, yeah, and he doesn't have any creatures out himself, so, I mean, hmm. So, I mean, is that Wizard's Tower just meant to, like... At this point, I go full-on Water Elemental and just go... Yeah, work. right? Hit him yeah. in the face. Because I guess you work. could, if you uh, end up... Hmm. Okay, so the Water Elemental, if you push it, is it a movement when you actually uh, activate his ability? I believe it's a movement. you follow? That point. Yeah, when you follow it, yeah. Hello? Yep. Yeah. Move action. Is it a move? It's so not, that would it's a move, but it's not an action. Oh, okay. That's that's basically what you I sure? was asking, yeah. It's still a move, but it's not an action. I'm pretty sure it's not a move action. I think it just hmm. says you may immediately move if I remember right. Interesting. I thought all moving happened with a move action, but I guess pushing It follows the stuff. steps of sense. movement, I think, but I don't think it actually is so a move it's a action. move action without it being a move action i want to say that's what it is i don't know i could be wrong i definitely could be wrong with that we may have to check the supplement i thought yeah. it was but i don't know if that's in the supplement yeah well to light the zubri signal yeah, right. Zubu. <laughs> yeah, either do you want to go on Skype and just see if he's around? I don't, I don't even have Skype on this thing anymore. Um, Skype's a piece of junk. Wow. Anyway, so... Really quick talking about this. Looks like there's going to be a card on this gate of Ultari. And Naya is going to get a card on her. So she's going to start um, either beefing up the Siren or placing traps all over the place. There's a ton of stuff she can cast. Um, she's probably one of the best familiars in the game when it comes to things that she can do. Um, and she's probably just going to cast a Shallow Sea and then yeah. negate the Obelisk. That would make sense. Absolutely. That being said, um, there is a card on this gate... So him paying mana for it is going to be interesting to watch, I guess. Like, all right. So I just fixed Mordok's Obelisk. Nice. Just remind me to never again. Just remind me to upload it later. I'm not going to remember on my own. So I guess one of the big questions is, what creature would be worth the upkeep every round out of the wizard? Out of the wizard? Yeah. Mm, jelly. A jelly. I could see that. Yeah, you've got a psychic immune, resilient, five dice creature that turns into only, you know, four is still pretty good, but it corrodes the crap out of things. And the yeah. shell still, so I'd go with the jelly. And you can just teleport it over so it doesn't have to take a move action. Exactly, and since your your ring should cover some of the cost of that, right? Does the ring help against, is teleport an arcane or meta magic? Teleport, I guess teleport is meta magic, I think. Okay, yeah. then yeah, so you yeah. teleport to out of that, so... That's how I would do it, but I'm not playing the book. All right, and we're going to deployment. There is no deployment. I guess he's not going to guess it after all. What is? I guess. What are the higher level ones? It's like Hydra. I guess it is the uh, the jelly and and Gorgon Archer. sense to Gorgon Archer because Gorgon Archer just stands still and shoots things and you want to keep things from coming up to her 
Oh man, but if you sirens call it, you have to pay the mana. Yes, yeah, so sirens That's call crazy. it, you have to pay the mana, <laughs> and it's slow, yeah. and it doesn't get to shoot. Or obelisk play at all. And and um, just for reference, you have to pay the mana if you're sirens called because you take the move first and then you pay mana. You don't get the choice of saying I'm not going to pay it. Yeah. Unless you don't have the mana. If you don't have the mana, yeah, you can't move. You're right. If you don't have the mana, then you have no choice to, to not move. Which is really interesting. Yeah. Mandatory actions. Gotta love it. All right, and the uh, Nia's gonna move one closer. So. He okay, yeah, shall see. Pays Great. his mana. Did he pay for the move? Uh, yeah, he paid one mana, right? Nope, wait. Where? I'm I have paid one mana. He's got to pay one for the suppression orb. Yep. Nope, there it is. And uh, interesting spot for the Shallow Sea. It's that pretty doesn't aggressive. That make a whole lot of sense. I would put it under Naya so she gets more channeling and then cast another one next turn. He might be planning uh, to move yeah, the druid creeping two. creeping towards him would have been better. Like, if he's planning on moving two, maybe he's going to, out of the shell, I'm cast I bet he's going to meditate. Meditate would be awesome. And the lightning um, ring comes out yeah, for a big tree. Shallow Sea does not add lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> it should make it all area effect, clearly. It's magic lightning. Doesn't count. So much for intuitive. <laughs> but if it hits armor, you get bonus damage. The double move! Out of Siren! <laughs> Alright, so maybe he is going to do that. So what would he want to double move and then have something cast in a shallow sea? This tells me a Leviathan or a... I can see Leviathan. Um, water Elemental's coming next, I yeah. think. Kraken. The Kraken? Kraken. A Kraken would be great. Any of, those, any of those are decent options. In fact, all three of them rapid fire would be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have, um, what is this, 28, so a total of 30 mana next round to work with. Um, yeah. But that's a ton. Of, I mean, you could do a lot and, with that. And if you meditate, you're effectively taking three more off that cost, so yep. four off each cost. You're looking at 18 per creature, I think. So he could actually meditate and then cast some equipment off Naya or something like that and then get a big creature... And then quick cast some sort of something else. And I think rapid fire, big creature, big creature in a row would be worth the, the channeling mana. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, um, like just because this round at that point, you can just push them over into the gate zone, eat the gate, or eat the even the obelisk or something, eat the obelisk. <clears throat> yeah, because he can only cast one creature if he's going to meditate, but if he chooses to save the mana for something else big. He can yeah. deploy the Kraken from his shell right yeah. now. Yeah, he can. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Kraken is, what, 21? Yeah. And it has a grapple and snatch. That's true, too. I think I would go Leviathan myself. It depends. It you, doesn't, if Leviathan to... is slow, and it doesn't keep the wizard still. Kraken no, would keep doesn't. the wizard still. But I still think you need to set yourself up to have board advantage, and I think the... The Leviathan would do best for that. Seven dice piercing one. If you teleport him up to the obelisk, it's gone. Did he pay mana for Naya? Kraken Pierce rolls three. those dice. Yeah, that's true. Dice those three. Dice, Kraken it's... can work. The only thing is the, the Leviathan's just tougher to kill. That, that's why I would pick it. I'm yeah, not sure. He had to have paid mana for Naya. He I, did. I mean, it depends. He did, yeah. It depends what you want to do. Like, if you want to take out the gate, I really think Leviathan would be good. Um, if you want to do two big baddies, I would probably do the Kraken first so that you can capture something. So next round, you can Leviathan rouse so you can just kill it. Ooh, interesting idea. You know what too. I mean? And I still think the Water Elemental is fantastic against damn near everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially because it can move and then move while attacking and stuff. It's it's and shenanigans. 16 health man. resilient is just dumb. Yeah. Resilient is dumb in general. We should not have ever... <laughs> we, we need to go re review that uh, idea, but um, Clearly 16 there health need to be resilient is just <laughs> ridiculous. A 
Earth should deal bonus damage. <laughs> should deal bonus damage to what? Resilient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I crush you. It, no, it'll be something ridiculous like a uh, was that ice or something like something just not in the game. Interesting. Frost or yeah, it's called frost. Yeah, that's right. Water elemental is weak to frost, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and even then, weak just means they get extra dice. I'm not. Hmm. All right, looks like um. Nope. Great. Right, the way still... you kill the water elemental is just throw more dice at it. <laughs> that's that's how I do it in my necro man. I just like all the minions are just like throw three or four dice attack at him. Yeah, none of he the individual. Kill us all. Uh, none of the individual. He casts Leviathan, great, but I mean, you can have seven mana left. I mean, you can agony, uh, water elemental. I love the um. What is that? Um, Chains of Agony? That's also a great choice again. Chains of Agony is my favorite play because it's cheap, and if yeah, it uses three their spells, it's even better. Yeah, exactly. If, just, if I'm running Chains oh, you of know Agony, what? I, I guarantee I'm you sorry. I have other worse curses for them to do. Leviathan, or I'm sorry, the Water Elemental, I believe the... I believe Putin's right. I think the move is a move action because Chains of Agony, we've already talked about them, that does do a damage if you use the Okay, ability. yeah, see, that's what I was saying. I thought yeah. it worked. No, well, that means probably... I was wrong. Oh. I'm sorry, but the yeah, shark was right. Ah. Wrong. Bum bum bum. Womp womp. Anyway, so um, Victor E might be casting something. <laughs> From the gate, yeah. He's got 11 he's mana got, on the thing. I mean, he's got tons of mana. I mean, really, even if he started just hurling attack spells this round he could he could probably do a ton well, of damage the interesting thing is he they both have spawn points and neither of them have <laughs> ridiculously strong board presence because of uh, an orb yeah it was i'm not sure if i like victory's gate yet i gotta keep watching and see how he plays it yeah i I'm i, I almost think about. a battle forge would have been better for him for this particular book you I know agree. what i mean like Staff of Storms, Elemental Wand, Lightning Bolt every It depends round. how it plays out, but for this particular one, I agree. Yeah, so and I, I'm not saying this is a bad play or anything. I just, I'm curious to see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm just agreeing. Just On the surface, it. it does look like a bad play. Yeah. Right, at the current exact moment. Ah, the Gargoyle Sentry comes out. Okay. He's probably not going to be wanting to take a lot of move actions um, with this because he probably just wants to guard the gate, uh, which probably actually works out for Master Software. What's the point of guarding the gate if you don't want to use it? <laughs> I'm not like trying to be mean. It just it doesn't seem like that. that doesn't seem like the, yeah. the intended. Plan. It seems like there's an actual different idea there, but I'm not sure. And water elemental does come out for. Um... Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. What is? Why is Mister Matt? Uh, why does Naya have remove a mana? There we go. All right, and the water Ellie is of course just a good choice. I mean, honestly. It's a strong play, and it can move things around. The positioning is a pain yeah. in the butt. Yeah, I mean, even if the Gargoyle Sentry guards, the plus three won't make too big of a difference for Crashing Wave. Well, it, it, it might does. in terms of the damage, but yeah. the Crashing Wave can just move the guard out of the way. Which that is true. That is true. Which is surprisingly effective, especially if you do on the right, like if you time an initiative yeah. time it correctly with the initiative. Oh, Something about not sorry. being counterattacked is really nice, for sure. There's that, and then there's the if you want to bring the water elements all as well, you just bring them all along. Mm. Now he could still cast Leviathan next round. Um, no, what? And, and then use it's the, interesting. Yeah, what's up? Hmm. We're mana off of that Echo of the Depths right now. What's up? All right, so we're in round round five. Um, I think I, so. Yeah, you're cutting out. The, yeah, I think he's spent uh, four mana so far. Yeah. Oh, okay. So my question is, Ooh. why not just cast Naya and then cast Water Elemental? Lightning Bolt. Um, yeah, we got Lightning Bolt coming. With no armor. And yeah, that's, that's what I mean. He's like, he's so open to get damage right now. Granted, he'll, he'll, he's in the uh, Shallow Seat, so the regen yeah. will help. And eight damage. Then done. And a stun. stun. Eight damage. Stun is Ow. beautiful. Right? <laughs> okay, Granted, man. I think he can still meditate, can't he? 
Uh, no, it's full no, it's action. Full action. Yeah. Take that back. I'm sorry. It's also not a spell action. Oh, I guess you have to do a spell you can't do in your regular yeah. action, can you? Yeah, it's just a normal one. I didn't think of that either. Well, I guess I was doubly wrong, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Sirens call the mage! <laughs> I mean, yeah. he could siren call the gargoyle. That would actually be pretty funny. That's true, too. But That's it, probably what I'd use my action for. After being stunned, I agree. Uh, so Master Software goes up to 8 damage and right away this is starting to get dangerous because she's only at 30 life that's yeah, true um, granted it'll be unless the mage moves in and attacks Arcane Zap or something it'll be 7 next round yeah. so that regen is actually surprisingly uh, oh it's crazy good Good. It's a, you have a low threshold to die but I mean over the course of the game I've had times where I've regen over 10 yeah I mean it's it's a built in ability like, you don't have to cast Regrowth or anything like that, because it's, it's just something you get. So it's like, if you learn, you kind of have to play defensively as a Siren to take advantage of it, but, um, you know, like, that's just the play style that she does. And something like Water Elemental makes it super easy to do. I'm expecting a Ballad of Courage or a Healing Magical from Naya anyway, so mm. I, don't, I don't think it's going to be... I could also see Armor just come out of Naya. Scale though, yeah, the uh, Leviathan scale. Either way, they're both. It looks like it's on uh, Victory. No, it's on Master Sloth. He's thinking, man. This is not an easy situation we're going to be in. Nope. He's forgetting that he's still in the quick cast phase. I don't think he's thinking actually. I need to pass. You might be thinking about the whole round. Oh, yep. <laughs> it's also Master Slav, or it's also Victory's uh, main action initiative. Start. Just don't reset it. Uh, it takes too long. Just pass. Yeah, as you say, I doubt Master Slug or Victory had any sort of plans to go after Naya, but maybe he did. I don't know. Speaking of that, actually attacking Naya might have been a good choice for him with that lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. And the Shallow Sea, too, so he could just move in and then cast it. Mm -hmm. well, if he moves in, then he gets Arcane Zapped, so. Oh, it's Victory's turn. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what a guy. Passing. I'm... Anyway, I'm pretty sure. The subtle movement of those cards. You can tell Master Sloth Bear is, uh, is nervous here. I'm interested in what he's actually going to do now since he has no mana. So he's... And he's a stunned mage with yeah. mm. a bunch can't of can't attack. And he can't call anything. He... Yeah. Oh, he has no mana. That's all right. Yeah. I mean, he's set up for next round to have a great offensive. Unless, of course, he gets stunned again. All right. That's what I would reverse attack in the, uh, yeah. in the quick <laughs> cast for sure. <laughs> oh, dude. Because he's not wearing armor either. That's when the arc lightning comes out. Just saying yourself on maybe but that assumes he predicts that you're gonna put a reverse That's, attack down that is true too fair enough i mean the better stun chance of lightning bolt makes sense and damage against an unarmored opponent mm -hmm. so um <clears throat> here we are at the end of the round here um obviously master sloth won't be doing anything here uh but uh, wait a minute he's gotta he still has to unstun himself yeah he's gotta remove it but um, <clears throat> looks like the Siren still has 65 cards in her deck here. And uh, Wizard has 52. So I want to know what 65 cards he has in that book. 
That is a lot of in school cards. A ton of cards for a Siren to have. All right, we're going to the next round here. <laughs> so there is uh, not enough mana on the gate in order to uh, cast anything. Um, <clears throat> I guess that's the one good thing about not having to cast anything. <laughs> right. And all the upkeep gets paid for all the creatures. Um, so, let, I mean, let's look at the board here. So, Master Slothbear can walk in right now, deal five damage in a push, and then try it in something. What do you think the best best way to go about doing that would be? I would walk in there with the Siren and hit with the Spear and try and push the Wizard into the Water Elemental. Ah, uh, okay. That's fair. That way there you can and tap the Water the Elemental doesn't have Naya. to move. Oh, that way there you can tap the guard from... Oh, man. Okay. Because the, the, I, the I, yeah. uh, Gargoyle will then move in and guard. You can tap the guard off with Naya. Dude, I got, a, I got an idea here. Wave with Naya, too. I, That's I got also it. true. I got it. I got it. Hear me out here. You Sirens call the Gargoyle. So when it guards, you attack the Gargoyle, and if you don't get the push, it can't counter-strike you. Interesting. And, so, and the guard would also go away. Yeah, I mean, since he's got initiative, I would just go in there and stab That's fair. the wizard. Yeah, that is fair. From the deal chat, with the guard, unless and surging waiver. No, I guess surging wave power wouldn't be that great. Hmm. Yeah, I mean the gargoyle guarding in the uh, shallow sea probably isn't the best thing for it. Yeah. If Siren's Call would be fine, I think, but <laughs> waiting until after first quick cast to do it would also work. Mm, yeah. I think he's better off waiting. See what um, victory does. Alright, from the chat... Uh, James, the orb and the obelisk were extremely preemptive. The echo seems very counterproductive as well, as there are zero songs yet, and only big creatures. So let me ask you guys a question. If the orb and the obelisk are out, do you think we'd be seeing more, more creatures out of either mage? I would certainly hope so. I mean, that's <laughs> the point of the spawn points. Otherwise, I don't know. That's fair. I'm just, I've been seeing a lot of wizards use the gate every third turn or something you know they'll wait until it has seven nine mana on it before casting something and that just like that. to me at that point i mean did, did they harmonize oh, i guess they wouldn't have but still that's 14 mana for a gate to get you an advantage in creatures and if you're not going to take advantage of the creatures then i don't know what you're using it for i mean okay so i, I think, think it's I think too it much really economy depends. and you can get behind really quickly i think i think that might really depend because i think it, it's something like if you need your mana as like an attack spell thing then you're still passively getting mana on your gate. You, you know? have. But what are you doing with your other... Like, I, I still think that at that point you have better advantages you can press. Hmm. Like, I don't know. Like the, the only reason why I say that is because, like, let's just say, like, you're on their side of the board and your gate's all the way back, and you're like, I would rather just get uh, a zap, get my shield on, and then you know, do a lightning bolt because I already have two gremlins up here. So I might as well just not cast something else, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense or if that's something you guys would agree with, but. All right, run that by me one more time. Sorry. So like, like, let's just say you're like your gates where it is right here in this game. And like you're fighting in like the mana crystal for the siren zone. Like you have like two gremlins, let's just say, and they're over there. Like I would much rather like zap arcane zap and then like lightning bolt rather than cast, like, a Gorgon Archer or something out of the gate. You know what I mean? I think that would help you a lot more than the gate's helping you right now, especially with the gate with Harmonize. Yeah. If you're going to Harmonize the gate and then not Yeah, I, I guess I don't Harmonize gates, too. So that's... That's, all, uh, yeah. that's a lot of investment um, for something that you just counteracted with your 16 mana of uh, an orb. Yeah. I guess if you get a big enough channeling advantage, then you can kind of mitigate the obelisk in your own... You know, compared to your own stuff. That's but. true, yeah. Don't understand the obelisk play. 
I mean, it still can be a creature advantage thing. It, it did nullify effectively the Echo of the Depths advantage, or the way to keep even with them. Mm. And you have enough discount on metamagic crap that you can do um, that I, I can see it working if you go with a low number of creatures. Now, if you're going to do that, I wouldn't do the gate as well, especially a harmonized gate. Mm -hmm. So that's just where I would come from for that one. Yeah, this almost reminds me of someone playing from like like 2014 Majors, but they're trying to I don't to think break. he realizes that he can't cast off the gate. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let me... He only has two mana. And a productive stun, too. <laughs> I mean, I think the stun helped this round, just because he... Um... I mean, didn't take. He the didn't. He didn't attack, walk in, so. or he didn't meditate. Either one of those. That was a joke. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Lols. Better this... to have a stun than to have an extra mana on a oh, gate. Oh yeah. Oh totally. Okay, from the chat, the siren could save nine mana or so by not casting the echo and meditation habit. Well, it is more restricting action wise. I think it. It's worth it here after an early move or two. Yeah, I can see Well, that. there's also the fact that it came out before the Avenue Orb, so it's not like he saw that one coming, for sure. Especially after he played a gate. Um, but yeah, it's in hindsight, it is definitely causing issues. Yeah, like, I guess against a wizard, like, like coming from a personal experience, I run a Naya Meditation and uh, Echo build. Like, I would probably just hang back and just get a bunch of, a bunch of dudes that can just grapple at range 2. And then just call whatever else is like dangerous and just be like, okay, so you're just going to keep getting creatures and I'm going to try to slaughter them on my end. You know what I mean? Oh, Mordok's obelisk would change that plan really quickly, wouldn't it? <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Like, I guess. Man, that that is that is tough. Like maybe maybe I would do exactly what he's doing. That is just rush forward, get a big 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 amount of creatures, and just attack. He doesn't want to be stunned again. <laughs> this is this is awesome, actually. I'm just wondering why Victor thinks he's played rock to soft bears. I I think he thinks if he's I had losing. To pick anything but... in the very beginning, it was the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah, I think he thinks he's losing, but this is still decently even. I don't know if he knows to drag from the mage. Yeah. Yeah, yep. he's got it. Okay. Well, that being said, like I, I think, I think this could like really quickly tidal wave for Master Sloth Bear. Um, that being said, I would have loved to have seen Anaya, um, the Ring of Tides. I guess he doesn't want to get stunned again this round, but um, he could still Ring of Tides before he attacks with the true. Siren. He'd have to do his water attack, of course, but like that's not he he can do it. Uh, it makes sense in the quick cast to do this though. Yeah, I, actually, I didn't see. what is he attacking? I um, guess I guess he's not doing it for. Oh, it's on a wizard. I guess he's not doing okay, it for yeah, the damage. I'm... He's doing it for the slam, right? Still got a decent damage, though. All right, he yeah, got three. the slam. Three's nice. He did not get the push. Yeah, three damage with no slam. That's actually exactly what he wants. Well, yeah. he could have bashed, I guess. Never mind. I think that yeah, bashed. I mean, it could have been another three dice, but... I want to know what that uh, card on him is. On whom? Uh, uh, the wizard. Obviously, it's not a man. I think it's really. a... Ace, probably. Your mic's breaking up. I didn't hear you. Ace. Is my guess. Uh, brace yourself. Still only heard. Oh, brace. Yeah. All I heard was this. <laughs> What's up with that? It's going on. Know, it could just be my. I heard you all right, internet. but you know, I don't know. Maybe it's... the internet out here is sometimes bad. I don't know. I feel like if it was a brace, no, well, maybe that, or I was thinking something meta magic, like Nolly or something, or. That's really hard to go, actually. I mean, the brace is actually really good against the water element. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a nullify. Yeah. yeah Just based on the meta magic guess there, yeah. And um, looks like it is Victor E's first quick cast. 
a wizard, it would be a rhino hide. Oh, oh rhino hide work? I mean, it could just be like a regrowth or something, too. There's a lot of options at this point that... I'm saying, all right, the card disappeared before I could check. I added the marker. I mean, yeah, so I suppose ideally there's another shallow sea cast in the gate zone just so you can get the extra two dice or or just at least one. Yeah, die. I think in I definitely put one in the gate zone. <laughs> Have Naya do it. Yeah, Naya could do it. For sure. now. Uh oh yeah, no. Uh Masters off doesn't have enough mana right now though. It's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't even notice yeah. that. It's that ob. Oh, the obelisk is working. <laughs> in mana though. Do I quick do I have Oh, he's incapacitated. Well, yes, he can. I got it. And on a tax spell. Tax spell. <laughs> okay. I love the caps. I think it was an accident, but yeah. <laughs> I know. It's it's awesome. <laughs> My cat is a that slam slave. could come in handy um, if he tries to lightning bolt as well, because it'll turn into a daze, fifty percent chance of wasting the attack. Oh yeah, no, it's, I mean, it, it pretty much takes him out for the round unless he chooses to, you know, main action then quick cast. All right, he's gonna skip us quick, so that means he probably has at least one attack spell. Nah, he's a wizard. He got basically anything. <laughs> I mean, you could literally just have mage wand, elemental wand, prepared yeah. and pick something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it would still be especially good. Especially when he has, yeah, especially <laughs> since he has initiative, so that if it's not a nullify, he can then re nullify, or you don't know, nullify in the quick. Yep. And there's there a retires going on. Interesting use of mana. So, um. It's only got one left. Is it. So does that mean a siren's call? It's going to stab with the. He, he already uses quick cast, so, yeah. It's just going to melee. It's true. Just, melee or uh, wave? Yeah. Would you wave blast or melee in this? Depends on what happens next. Yeah, I think it depends what he does with the... Gargoyle? If I would probably gargoyle. wave blast. Oh, really? Why? Uh, so that he can get the intercept done, and then the water elemental can oh, go attack. Oh, wave blast at the wizard. I see. I was thinking just go and the stab the gargoyle out of the way. I mean, you get the piercing too. too with the stab, but essentially it's otherwise about the same. Yeah, he's gonna go with the gargoyle. So this is a big move. What do you what do you attack with? I still think you use the siren. It depends on whether you want to get rid of the gargoyle or not. Yeah. If you want to get rid of the gargoyle, I would attack the sentry with a stab. Move in, stab, push yeah. it into the water. The piercing too, then you probably just hit it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And at that point. The guard will go away, and then you hit him with the water elemental for six dice in the yeah. shallow sea, and push him left. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you push him all the way away from the wizard. All right. Well, he's gonna attack. He's gonna target the sentry. Now, this won't actually take away the uh, the guard yeah, because the guard it's not intercepted. Uh, so. That being said, he does get two damage and a push on it, and it's gonna have to push into a wall, of course. Yep. He still know got the armor. That. I also don't know yep. if they know that intercept will uh, automate, so they may not be thinking about that. Yep. So it's three dice. And yeah, he has to roll the bash. No, you can't go down. Oh. Sorry, bud. It's like a force push. Yeah, it's uh, it's not like a force push. It's uh, um, yeah, the push actually mandates that it's always away from the caster or the original source. Yeah, so damage. And that's why um, that's, that's why I would have attacked still. the wizard. Yeah, because he would have been yeah. forcing the intercept. So now the water elemental has to attack the gargoyle. No, no. At this point, I probably well, yeah, I would have probably attacked just stabbing the gargoyle. Yeah. Because then if you got the Myself. push, you can choose where to push, and then you get piercing two on top of that. And, and he loses yeah. the guard. And then, yeah, like I was saying earlier, he loses the guard if you put him into Shallow Sea, which then gives the Water Elemental extra dice, which can then push him to the left, out way out of range of the wizard. Yep. 
Uh, one thing I will say that um, we've seen a lot of sirens so far in this tournament, and like personally, I think they've all kind of misplayed in some sort of way. But like that being said, like um, it's interesting watching all the different styles of sirens that have come out. You know? Yeah, I haven't gotten to watch any outside of the one I played. Yeah, like it's it's like clearly like there's a lot of people like that are still learning the siren and she's not like the expert mage that like other mages like you know the the beastmaster is right now for instance that we've seen yeah yeah and um that's just kind of one of those things. A lot of people actually don't keep up. Elemental with... wand. Yay. Well, yeah, we're going to see a lot just... of attacks coming out. Fix something. I mean, to yeah. be honest, there's no armor on the siren. This is this is not good, man. Not good for the siren. And the days goes away. Yep. This is Victory's playing this right. He's is, he's is doing this the, the way he should be. Uh, yeah, so it's Victory's turn. Or, I'm sorry, Master Sloth's. Done. Oh, yeah, he did say he was done. <laughs> Elemental dot. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to use the Elemental yeah. before they can do final quick casts. He's at least got to flip it and say, I do nothing. Dems the rules. Attack the gargoyle, probably, and try yeah. and push him down. I mean, that would be the probably the best choice. I guess he could double move into the wizard zone, but I don't know. <laughs> Elemental dot. Er, the thing in the top right is an Mordox obelisk. I think uh, somebody. Nobody understood your elemental comment there. <laughs> Sorry, Elemental dot. <laughs> <laughs> flip the action marker, he guarded. Oh, he guarded. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> anyway, so... Um... Now I can final quick cast. And it's need to stop talking and let him do it. This is the kind of game where it seems like we might need to enforce the you have one minute for each action. Because it does seem like it is taking a long time. I'll pull up the timer... do that for <laughs> the water <laughs> elementals somewhere <laughs> oh no what's going on <laughs> <laughs> let's see stopwatch the master sloth is a he's new got, to octagon he's got two action markers Obvious that he's the, new to Octagon. The strongest of the strong. <laughs> uh, so basically, Mordok's Obelisk, it's a really old school way that if you run very low creatures to basically like force the opponent to have less mana. Uh, it's really good against like the Beastmaster or the Necromancer, and a lot of ways the, Dru the uh, Druid as well. Um... It, it's not played much right now, I think. I don't know why it's not played much now. Maybe because it's just an old card and people don't look at the core a lot. You know. Yeah, maybe. Right, so how are we going to rule this, guys? I still think it's a move action. Because you're choosing to take a move action. Because you may immediately move. Not you may be yeah. pushed with him, not you may be go with him. It yeah. is a move action. That's, I think we rule like that just thing. right now, just because we've we've already determined that uh, yeah. it's, it's similar to um, Chains of Agony. Yep. So, if yeah, and exactly, we, and we Chains know for sure. For example. And we know for sure that Chains of Agony works on the. Well, I've I've talked to Zuberi about that. I know, and he says it definitely does does work. Yeah, that's how I would interpret it as well. 
though. It is not exactly 100% clear in either way. So. Alright, well, he's he's got to pay a mana. Yeah. I see it as an effect of the water elemental's attack, so. And it uh, looks like he's going to get some nice damage out but of this. But the way it's worded is you, you move. You don't you know, you don't have any special way to do that. Yeah, you five just, damage. You know, Dang. Action. Didn't get the push. Wow, four armor? Yeah. <laughs> that was it, yeah. awesome. And two crit come back at the water elemental. And if you want to make a post about in the forums, wouldn't... I'm sure we can get uh, Zub, Zub to completely clarify it. Set in stone kind of thing, you know? So I bet we see a... A lightning bolt come out of that fire, or that fire, that uh, elemental wand? Yeah, this is a big question. So, he's got 13 mana. Get a push on the gargoyle? He didn't get no. a push. No, he did not. There's the lightning bolts, and Sorry. if he gets a stun someone here... Pay, that's... Somebody remind him that he has to pay to move into the zone. Because that's a has-to, not a... Sorry to interrupt the no, conversation, but... <laughs> that needs to happen. Yeah, that's Ouch. gonna be that's gonna be nine damage going at the siren. It's Holy a, cow! It's a freaking armor, man. Get some freaking armor, man. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Look at all these creatures getting paid for. Um, I mean, so right now, Victory is putting Master Sloth in a, in a lower mana economy situation here. I mean, he's only at yeah. eight mana now. Did he end up paying for the orb? Yeah, he oh, did. He did. Okay, cool. So, I mean, like, that's... <clears throat> Like eight, I mean, that's eight the, the rationale behind the obelisk and the orb, and yeah. I totally understand that. I just don't understand spending twenty, almost twenty, man on a gate and harmonize. Yeah, I mean, I guess well. if the water elemental just attacked the gate, it wouldn't been, have been that bad, right? Right, and that's why I was saying yeah. earlier you need to attack the obelisk and the orb because that yeah. basically puts you back at the advantage, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It um, it's tough to tell. The siren should not have a daze. Wait, seven. I remember seeing a three. Nope, it's a two on the effect die. Um, what's the question? Uh, the lightning bolt rolled a two, not a seven. Oh yeah, it should have days. Yeah. Yeah, because he took he took nine because he's at fifteen because he regenerated one. Yep, he's he's asking about whether it should have days. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he doesn't have plus one. Still there on the left. You can see it right now. <laughs> Keep heading another action marker. <laughs> oh my god. So so basically, let's talk about where we're at right now. Sothbear is in a situation that is most peril. Yeah. He's gonna be sleeping with the fishy right. soon. He needs yeah, exactly. He's going to be shark food soon. He's going to be joining the Pirates of the Caribbean. He's going to surf the last wave. Yeah, a tough place to be in. He needs a direct heal and a healing magical at this point, I think. Yep. Uh, I mean, he needs armor. Like, he's about to take another, what is that, seven dice to the face? He's going to be at, what, 22? I mean, I think he needs to just run away, man. Yeah, maybe he's got range and... Elemental do the work. Yeah, just sort of, like, buffer as much as possible, try and get healing and armor, and just pray. Shallow sea, wherever your siren ends up. Victory's gonna spend a mana, it looks like. Nope, and he's gonna regain a mana. He's just gonna float it out and bring it back. It's a fun little, fun little thing. 
parlor trick. <laughs> um, so, uh, Mr. Pohl, who's in this tournament, in the chat, says a good bridge troll would fix this situation. Bridge troll fixes every situation, except for fixing the bridges. <laughs> for when you're running at fireballs. It doesn't really <laughs> fix that situation either. Ah, fireballs. That's what the uh, the other troll is for. Was Torgo? Torgo. He likes fireballs, man. Let's actually ask that question. Uh, everyone in the chat, and you, you guys too, do you prefer Bridge Troll or Torgo? Which one? If you had to choose one. Um, depends on the rest of the thing. I'm just talking about but, in general, man. I know. I, I can't <laughs> pick. In general, they, they both have different strengths and yeah. weaknesses. I think That's if true. I had to pick one right now with no other context, probably the Bridge Troll. Bridge Troll. That's fair. Teen health and regen three. It's just solid. Yep. Yeah. I mean, Torgo has the uh, the tough minus three, and yeah, it's it's uh, regen two, but it doesn't he have one armor? I think. Yeah, uh, one or two. Because like the one armor, so basically, if you get attacked once around, you're probably basically at regen three, right? Just to play devil's advocate here. Then again, you only have ten life, so you know. Torgo? Torgo, yeah. Yeah. Health and the fact that piercing is so prevalent. That yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, piercing one or two. Based it against the bridge troll. Yeah, bridge troll is actually a decent counter to that just because of the fact that he doesn't have armor anyway. Yeah, because what is it like a. It's a one mana difference between the two of them, so it's really not that much when you think about it. Yeah. I have. If they're if they're not running tons of piercing, then Torgo's pretty good. Okay, so let's talk about really. Yeah, so let's. Or so, you could just so, put a um, rhino hide on. So so let's talk about that then. In what situations would you want Torgo over the bridge troll? Uh, swarms against fire. Against fire. That too. Fire and swarms. I'm just thinking swarms because the armor helps a lot against swarms. Um, lots of lower lot amounts of mm, yeah. dice and. Yeah, if they're rolling two or three days, you know? Yeah, so that armor helps there. Um, and while I like the, the bridge troll, uh, it's a lot of spellbook points, too. And isn't he two nature, one war, as opposed to Torgo, who's two war, oh, one nature? Oh, yeah, you're right. They are switched. <clears throat> so it's obviously better for, like, Warlord, to spellbook-wise, to run the uh, Torgo. No matter for the Force Master. <laughs> Force Master. That mage. What everyone's everyone's holding their Force Master this mate this tournament so far. Right, so we've seen so many sirens so far. Yeah. It's incredible. It's pretty cool actually, seeing all the sirens come out. Alright, the mana worm coming out. <laughs> Paying for his upkeep by draining it. I mean, I guess he doesn't really pay for it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he he brings everyone's mana count down. Why? <laughs> you ask why? As why? <laughs> uh, another enchantment. That's what I would have done. But no, he he wants another enchantment, and uh, I I mean if it's, if it isn't Akira's favor, I guess that is pretty good. Akira, uh, so he can attack the uh, water elemental if the siren leaves. Mm. Leave, so looks like go. Wizard's gonna spend his action immediately. He's gonna go after this water elemental. Interesting. But your damage. Pick. Yeah. <laughs> Don't split your damage, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I really think you should just go after the mage. Like, the mage is, like, s half dead. Super open. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Oh, the train lightning comes up, though. All right. I take Pull that. Pull a co-shade. Roll all blanks. <laughs> oh, my God. That is going to follow me forever. 
but he gets done. He gets a damage. That will haunt you forever. That will haunt you forever (laughs) for those who. uh... Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. He got the stun. Those who don't know, that's pretty. Those who don't know, tell them what I'm talking about. Oh my god, well, Gen Con 2014. uh, It's it's a Gen Con no one talks about anymore. But uh, I think I got like four or third. No, I got third. I think. Yeah, I got I got third place. I think. Um, Yeah. Basically. Uh, hey, that should be only whoa, four dice. That nice. damage, that four dice. nine damage. Yeah, guys, that that should be four dice. Yep. Sorry. You get no bonuses on your second attack. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. Gen Con 2014. So Gen Con 2014, um, I was in the uh, the final day. Uh, it was a top four, and I verse I was versing the guy that literally won the tournament. Um, I forget his name right now. Oh, damn! I forgot his name too. Yeah. I don't just thinking about it. I don't remember. Um, Not special for Chain Lightning, is it? No, Chain Lightning, you only get... Yeah, you, you only it, get you one. You check with Zuberi plenty of times. You already got the plus two. And it goes down. Sorry. That would be awesome if it did. I like. I would run it like in every book, but it just doesn't work. I out. know. I, um, I think you would have a mental block, but everybody else... <laughs> I still run chain lightning, and it's awesome. I know. Um, so anyway, His name like was Alex, I yeah, that's right, Alex. Um, so he was running a Beastmaster Swarm that year, and that's the one that took the, cha- the champion. And um, I mean, he still got a stun. Uh, it's an eight-up stun, and he got one damage. So that's actually a really good roll. Yeah, you can right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway. So what ends up happening is um, he has a swarm against me, and I'm like, that's fine. I've got a bow, because I use a very bow my wizard then. I had a Gorgon Archer out, and um, and then I had Another a Chain stun. Lightning. Dang, Dude, he's three stuns. Everything! And he, he attacked everything he wanted to, so rock up. Yeah, when in doubt, stun. So anyway, pretty much what happened is he had a bunch of birds and like wolves on me. And I literally go, you know what? I'm going to hit this thing. And it was the first, no, it was the second roll, I think. And it was like, it would have totally killed them all because they were all like two damage left. And then I hit the first one. It's like, yeah, it does uh, damage. The second one, all blanks. And it should have statistically <laughs> killed four of his creatures. And then those four creatures literally killed all my stuff. Yep. That's the answer. Wow. It's so funny. You blanked the chain lightning. Yeah, I blanked it, man. And the funny thing is, I wanted to make a note that this is, you said 2014, which is pre wizard change. Yeah, so it's pre wizard You were running yeah. a lightning wizard. Yeah, I was running an air wizard. And um, um, I well didn't... before. <laughs> I I had a wizard's tower in it, but I I mainly used a, uh, I think a gate and a. And a um... I was just making the point that it was an air wizard back then when oh, we had yeah. the option for anything. Oh, yeah, when they changed it, I was like, it doesn't affect me, man. Yeah, right. Well, this was a crazy action for him. He literally stunned everything. Yeah, um, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. That's not a stun. That's a minus two to the effect roll. Which one? Oh, he totally forgot about that. Oh. Got it. Yeah. Still, um, stuns the mage. Three days, though. Yeah. Siren is still stunned. A nine on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything else is even fine. with a minus one is still a not a uh, stun. Yeah, because yeah, nine on the. Uh, yep. I guess it would be a yeah, whatever. And we is, right. we're seeing a lot of spells that you just don't really see a lot, so you know. Yeah. But it's good. Now he gets to cast something. Does he still want to use his siren, though? All right. I mean, the stun of the siren now is brutal. Like, I hope he packs something for his, uh, uh, you know, his, his, his cards to cast. Heal. Yeah, the, uh, that tournament was actually a really good tournament. I know, we had, like, 30 people almost. Yeah, like time. like the year after that, um, so the guy that got second place was the guy that actually won in 2015, the year after. And um, 
And the guy that won in 2014 literally didn't come back the next year. Yep. I think we've pretty much had that happen every year. Yeah, yeah, I think so, actually. For Biblo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, Biblo. Who is an awesome player. Actually defended a winning championship title. <laughs> All right, yeah, so Naya is sure. going to move in. He's got to pay mana, which he did. What's Naya going to do? <clears throat> there is there is some deep thought going on now. Um, I I would expect a healing magical here. Yep, that would help. She's gonna guard. All right. I mean, she goes up to four dice with her coral dagger. And um, yeah. Masters of Lawfare is done. Every time I see that, I kind of chuckle a little bit because I'm always just like, just done. Why did he move? To guard. To guard his siren from the gargoyle and to regen. I, I, I mean, guess it depends how much mana he's got and what yeah, he's going to spend it on. Yeah. And I don't. There seems to be a lot of excessive spending here that doesn't need to be done. You know? Oh no, the siren can't guard either because it's stunned. Yeah, I I personally would have probably cast something, probably the healing magical or the uh, the uh, leviathan scales. Just something. Yeah, I mean I, I, even an elemental wand wouldn't be bad. Just yeah, to like, just lay weird. on the damage. Yeah, this game is just weird. Yeah, Which I, is okay. I, weird games happen. I don't just, really know. I don't really know if stunning like the stunning the water elemental is great, but I don't know if it was like. If it's actually progressing victory towards victory here, you know? That's an interesting way to put it, but... <laughs> progressing victory towards victory. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I agree with it. I just thought it was a funny sentence. Um... <laughs> it's a nice way of saying, like, if you're just aggressive right now, victory, you can just win. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I think just... Like, if he, thing, if he literally just lightning bolt, arcane zapped, this game could possibly be over, you know? Don't even give him the opportunity to heal. Just beat him down while you have yeah. the advantage, which you definitely do. Then again, that being said, it is tough sometimes to recognize when you have the advantage yeah. like that. So it's not like you're trying to take it anyway, but for posterity, oh, yeah. you have the advantage. So beat him down. Well, another, <laughs> well, earlier he was saying that you chose you know, the paper to my rock. So he's automatically thinking, oh, I'm on the back foot here. When, right, you know, I I would disagree with that sentiment, but yeah. I guess it's just from where I'm standing here. I think if he goes full on to the whole beat the mage down oh, with yeah. attack spells, seven dice, it's over. seven dice without any armor, you're gonna take out this mage during quick cast next round. Absolutely, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm not sure what you know the, I'm not sure how extensive his attack spell uh, repertoire is. Yeah, I mean he's at least got two all the time right now though, and he's gonna cast another ring of tides. <laughs> uh, can, can you do that? No, that's illegal. Do you want to do it? We should make a, make a thing of it. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> just putting you <laughs> illegal. <laughs> you are but just. You need to be a little more ver more verbose. <laughs> <I think sometimes. laughs> illegal. Elemental. Technically. Elemental. Illegal. Nobody knows what's that. You might I have mean... wanted to pick the other one. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Technically, he casts it, and the other one goes in his uh, book. Just saying. No, yeah, you would have to replace it. Yep. But you know, if victory doesn't it's have a problem with it, whatever. Has to cast it. Technically, by your tournament rules, it's obliterated. Uh, no, you just replace it. It just goes back in your book. Right. Yeah, because people do that with wands all the time, for instance. Oh. If he just tries to put it in the other slot. Well, that's illegal. Like, I, I doubt he's trying to do that because the targeting is weird when it comes to that. So what I'm not understanding here is why he didn't use his second spell. 
I don't know, man. Well, expensive. seven mana is enough for a madrigal. Seven mana is enough for armor. All of those would probably keep you alive. Yeah, I mean, he's still at very low armor now. Like, yeah, yeah Regen three can, would be victory. Can just take him out. You know, right, I was say, Regen three here would be, effectively Regen three would be yeah fantastic. Um, oh yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Right. I understand where where we're going with this one. There, there may be some master plan. It can happen. I'm just I may not be seeing it. I think it's a combination of being new to Octagon and um, not getting to practice a lot with the book. Oh, it absolutely could yeah, be. Yeah, I think that's... I mean, the thing about this tournament is, like, you're usually going to run your non-best mages first because you're trying to, like, feel it out. If you get a good win in the early games, that's great. Otherwise, you're going to want to save them up for later matches. And that could be what... Uh, yep, it, it, it could just be a feeling out match. Everyone deserves one of those. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I feel like that's my first match. <laughs> I, I haven't I actually played by it. It was well played get... by Paul, Brandon, whatever you want to call his name, but I uh, definitely was not on top of... I, I would like to have that one back. There we go. To get out of there. Get out of there. Get some armor on. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the best thing. Not those things is a waste of time. Or do you putting on a brace yourself or a little bit levy scale and a magical? Do if I could. Pretty close to any of those would be good right now, and I think I, I still think a reverse attack would actually do quite a bit. Um, I don't know if he runs it when he has still sixty some odd cards in his deck already. Um, so it tells me he probably doesn't have it. However, if he had gotten a good lightning bolt in on the the wizard, it might put the wizard back on the back foot. I, I don't know, man. He's got no armor on. Dude, all, all I'm saying is I would love just to see a reverse attack. Like, it may not win him the game, but it'd be fun just to be like, I knew what you were doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just something. Something to put the damage back. Somehow get yourself off the back foot. Because I think, yeah. I mean, interestingly enough, I don't think it's out of reach from Sloth Bear if Victory does not press his advantage. Sloth Bear can actually win this still. Oh, he uh, could. Pending yeah. out. If 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 um Victor E goes for the kill, I don't think there's a way that Sloth Bear can stop him. However, if he doesn't, then he's just giving him more opportunities to swing the game back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean basically the longer you go. I mean the regen even is is starting to just be like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get a slightly better advantage here, you know? I think I agree with chat that the uh it's kind of a waste. The chain lightning. That what is? Oh yeah. Well, chain lightning was kind of a waste. He did roll like crap. Yeah, I mean, he um, should have done four more or three more damage or something like that. But like, in a couple, yeah. I uh, honestly the think the better choice is to. As well. I mean, he could have got an extra three damage if he would have rolled the seven instead of four. Yeah, seven yeah. damage against just the mage, yeah. and the mage was at sixteen. Yeah. Like that's that's insane. Not to mention, he could have just zapped after that for another four. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. it was a... There were better lightning investments. Five. I, yeah, I think there are better investments, but I don't know that the Chain Lightning was terrible for what it accomplished. I, or I what it think, seemed like he was trying yeah, to accomplish. I don't think this Mana Worm is actually going to help. Yeah, player. that one I question. Like, he's playing a long game by casting it, but it's like, you don't need to, man. You're just... You're good. You you won. Mana. It's costing him a Mana around, too, which is... It's costing him a Mana around. And he's probably gonna have to move. Even if he gets you know? the mana back, though. He right. has to. He has to. Doesn't Nine he have to now. Equip, doesn't he have to equip like a cape or something in order to get the mana that he drains? Oh, you know? it doesn't have mana drain. I was thinking it had yeah. mana drain. Yeah, no, it's, mana like, uh, it's a worse one. Yeah, that's the mana leech would have made uh, sense, but the oh, yeah, mana worm makes well, like no I guess sense. If you, I was thinking, if you think about it. Victor E does have the economy advantage, so I can understand it a little bit. Yeah. Because of the meta magic ring, because of the two, or no, just the one crystal, so channel 11, the gate channels more than the not being used um, shell. So it, it, I can sort of see the justification for it, but I think 
I would personally have gone about it a different way. You know what he could do, guys? He could put mana Which vampirism totally okay. onto the mana worm so that it loses the mana, then mana vampire loses another ma- uh, mana. Oh, that'd be weird, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that'd be weird. I totally forgot that I was don't know, a I think... No one ever uses that anymore, point. and I'm like, mana vampirism, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. don't mean to interrupt I still think at this point, like, uh, Lightning Bolt, Arcane Zap is probably, in my yeah. opinion, the best move this turn. Yeah, I agree with you. Because you can and afford, it's simple. You can afford it's it. It's not like you have to go fancy with the planning. Nope. You already have them planned, literally. Yep. Um, and then he has initiative next round. Up for it. He has initiative uh, next round, and he just finishes it up. You know? Exactly. Just knock it out. Oh, jeez. I don't know. If you love boots. Why? You don't need that. Man. That leaves him no mana to zap anything or to, to lightning bolt anything. Oh my goodness! I... Extremely defensive wizard play. Yeah, but it's a it's a defensive wizard play when you don't really um, have a reason to be. Some non-aggressive siren play right now. Yeah, in this case, I feel like defensive play actually may give the siren enough time oh, yeah. to swing this back. Oh, definitely. It's I not mean, like we he... agree with you. It's not like a game where he doesn't have it won the longer the game goes for, like, you know, a guarantee. No. I cannot say that he, in this case, has enough of an advantage to just play defensively. I think he needs to press the advantage a bit more to get to a stage where he can do that. Um, but, like I said earlier, it's tough to recognize sometimes when you, like, if this game goes to infinity, do I win? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I roll all blanks for the next, like, six attack rolls. It's definitely... So, it looks like there's an enchantment going down. Three oh. mana for the teleport. Probably going to the elemental zone, is my, my guess. Is there a nullify? Uh, with the delay, but there's a nullify. Total yep. metagame there. There it is, yep. And it's meta magic, so of course the ring takes a little bit of advantage there. And yep, this yep. is this is a very defensive wizard here right now. <clears throat> Fi goes away. There we go. Well, I guess it worked out for the siren. Or sorry, the wizard. Yeah. I still don't know that I agree with the Eagle Claw boots playing myself. I mean maybe he's worried about getting slammed again, so he didn't so he put on the boots. You know. Just... Maybe, but you're still gonna get dazed. Yeah. Which is really the problem with the slam. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He can't play anything elemental. range two here. Water Elemental has the, as many dice as the Gargo Sentry and the Mana Worm combined. <laughs> Run just gets out of the oh way. Yeah. The Water Elemental can kill that stuff for her. Yeah, yeah but then that gives the, the wizard... Um, oh, no, zero! Oh, man. It gives the wizard even more um, uh, mana advantage. I, I think he's supposed to roll an extra die. He should have gotten four dice. No push, though. Huh. That's weird. I wonder why that didn't work, because yeah. I know that that ring worked the other day. I know I tested <laughs> it's that. It's a blank. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny, oh. man. That's funny. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> annoying. Uh, yeah, I mean, he could have just teleported the Gargo. Like, you know. Oh, yeah, that, that would have been an interesting play, too. Um, it, it's, I wonder a why he chose no, it, it's a Hydro Tech, yeah. Interesting. I wonder if that's not if the trident's not triggering his hydro. Let me check it. It's a good question. It's a good question. Could have just gone in there and stabbed it with your spear, though. Yeah, I think. Well, if he rolled four blanks, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> He wouldn't have rolled four. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten um, four dice, so I guess it doesn't matter. But... Just deep trident. Interesting. It's got the, the hydro property. I wonder why. Maybe it's like has a dash huh. in it or something. No, it, it looks. Is it an italicized hydro? It doesn't matter for Octagon. I know. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, but it, it looks fine to me. 
Uh, I'll, I'll dig into that later. It's too early for me. All right. This man was morning. feeling brave. So he sees a giant water elemental with a little, little man oh, of worms. Does nothing. I'm going to hit you with tentacles. Nothing. I mean, really, I don't know about you guys, but I imagine this guy being like this very tiny, like, you know, half a foot long little dude. It could be human size because clerics have that much health and armor. <laughs> That's that is fair. That would be actually be a lot more terrifying, and and it rolls the same amount of dice as a cleric. Just saying. One. You right. won. He's got to pay a mana, and now he's got to hit a gargoyle. I mean, even with the minus three. We all target it. <laughs> and that is a push. Uh, no damage, though. It's going to push blanks. him. It's a large amount of blanks in a row. Sorry. Yeah, no kidding. Wait, he doesn't get the... What is happening? Whoa! Seven days. So he doesn't get the retaliator. He pushes him away. All the, what is going on? <laughs> uh, I'm into the wall. Yeah, it looks like he oh, rolled, rolled okay. three dice. and looks like he got three more damage, it looks like. And then the counterattack happened. Rolled three damage. And yep. that's it. Cool. The seven oh. attack dice must have just been. Uh, sometimes when you you know when an attack happens too quickly between another attack and that one, it triggers two attacks for some reason. I don't, I don't know what Axe Gun does. So the wall attack didn't happen then. Hold on, I'm scrolling up. No, the see. wall attack does. There's a seven attack dice roll that should not matter. Yeah, and that was uh, three normal damage, three critical, so three less damage from the sentry. Is that right? Ooh, say it one more time, sorry. Damage the sentry. Does the guard stay uh, for the push? Yeah, it does, if it doesn't leave the zone. Should be zero overall damage then. Do you want to... Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it should be zero overall damage for the sentry. Three damage, uh, three dice, three normal, has three armor, yes. And then the counterattack did the proper amount of damage, is that right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, unless the, it turns out that counter strikes are only bugged if you have buffs of some kind. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Which, That's actually good to know. Uh, yeah, I've known that because Jason Craig helped point that out actually. Mm. Um, but there are still there are still articles or artifacts in there. I'm not sure what it's doing. I have not had the time to yeah. dig into it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right. So the the gargoyle's ability is a buff. Hmm. Is a buff that affected it? No, it didn't affect it in this one. But I mean, like melee or the, the, range. the extra seven di dice was just like totally weird, though. Oh, that was just a random article. Like you know how sometimes when you roll an attack, it rolls two attacks. I rolled five. Why would it go up to seven? I don't know. Sometimes when it rolls two attacks, it just does stupid things. <laughs> Dr. Mom was like, I'm out. <laughs> Later, bros. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, zone enchantments aren't, there's nothing to target. Just tell them to drag it off and do Pay two mana. I haven't gotten some yep. targeting down yet. Points in the chat here that you could Sirens Call the Gargoyle and then hit oh, yeah. him with the Elemental. Oh, yeah. It was just not necessary. Okay, you got that, sweet. 
Thanks, Budden. Yep. Mana off of... No. Didn't I have three mana? Um, I think so. What was the question? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she, she, had, she, she should be at one. And here comes the Arcane Zap. I would certainly bum, hope so. Bum, bum. Though, interestingly enough, I would. Oh, yes, yeah, Arcane Zap! Oh. Five damage! And with no yeah, armor. Unless something is about to get revealed. Nope. Maybe There's something on that. Maybe a fortified position. Oh, no, I doubt that. <laughs> you doubt it? In this game? Yeah, right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, this, is, this has been a painful experience all around. I, I think I think honestly it's just a matter of like watching a player that can kill a mage and just not doing it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But but I mean like honestly like these two people they're they're pretty interesting like their skill levels, you know, like they both are kind of like very cautious on how they're gonna play each other, you know? Yeah. I think that maybe a whim on Master Slot Spear's part because utilizing any songs, he's not utilizing um there's just a whole lot of the Siren's abilities that he's just not using. Siren's Call is being criminally underused right now. Yeah, that's not, I would agree with that. It's something I see a lot of Sirens do. In fact, I was guilty of it myself when I played my game. Granted, I guess I only played against one creature. Like, so, definitely... Usually, Siren's Call is huge. Like definitely could have played it on the Gargoyle. Before. Like, right yeah. now, this round on the Water Elemental would be a good choice, just so it moves towards the, the Siren and attacks the Wizard. Prefer to see him use his quick cast on armor, though. <laughs> yeah, some armor would be good here. Uh, I mean, no, he's going to take a lightning bolt first. I mean, the lightning yeah, bolt. The armor is too little, too late. I think. I mean, honestly, a lightning bolt and zap in this game could be over. Mm -hmm. Up with the rolling. Enchanted the zone so she doesn't get a guard. Yep. He's planning right now, so we'll change it out when he sees it. I mean that's that's the thing, is um I mean if you're if you're unfamiliar with the cards, like a lot of people are with the siren, like you're gonna take your time to think about you know how you want to play this round because there's so many weird choices that other mages just don't even think about. Yep, it, it's a very weird mage to get used to. I I would not try and build a siren book and then jump in and try and play a tournament game. It's tough. Yeah, that was, it is very tough, tough. Yeah, I, I can I attest to that. Sure. Not wanting to do that because I've already done it once this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I mean, you know your siren book decently well. You know, no, that was a completely new siren book. Oh, was it? Day. Oh, yeah. When it, you messed up royally, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my fault. I deserve that one. So, I felt good because I could play it similarly to a couple of the other books. But yeah, okay, that's right. It was a very new siren book. Like I think, like I said, I built it the day or the day before. Did we lose somebody? No, I'm still here, man. Oh, we lost Put in. There he is. Put in. All right. So I, when I look in the Mage Wars community chat, I'm trying to, to switch between the Arcane Duels channel and the general channel so that I don't miss anything. Looking for game like 50% of the time because the other ones are, are so grayed out. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't look like things I can click on. Old man or something. Uh, do you have them muted? I don't actually know what you're talking about. Yeah, if you go to the Matrix community chat, you can see Arcane Duels in general with the hashtag instead of like the microphone sound or 
symbol. And so he clicked looking for game X on his Oh, yeah, okay, I got you. <laughs> That's awesome. If, if you mute the channel, it goes grayed out. It's hard to see sometimes. Well, mute the channel because otherwise I'd get like over 100 messages while I'm at work. <laughs> yeah, no, I do, the, I do the same thing when That's I was legit. around. I just turned off my phone instead. Meditation man, you amulet get used once, twice. I think twice. Uh, was it twice? Really? Yeah, it's not twice. What like round? The first are round we he on? had it. I don't know, so the first round that we had it, or that he had it, and then not long after he used it one more time. I think we're on round like ten. Wow, Maybe eleven. Is it check. round ten? Sorry, round nine. It's round oh, nine. Oh right wow, now. it's round nine. Holy cow. Okay, more creatures are coming out. All right. What? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, a Gorgon Archer, just do it. <laughs> At this point, why not, right? Yeah. Just throw it I mean, you haven't seen throw, a Siren's Call, so if you just send it out, you know? Uh, I don't when in doubt, throw dice. No, I don't know. Gorgon Archer at this point would be pretty expensive, although I don't think he's been keeping track of extra mana he's getting. I'm not sure. Because and I'm not going to go back and count it. You have to do it. I'm still not going to go back and count it. <laughs> but you have too to. Late. It's yeah, too late. It's too late like for that. I feel like we hit the uh, statute limitations there. <laughs> I, I'm not going to go back through the chat and count it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my. I, I, you um, may have gotten it right. I don't know. I mean, with five mana, we could see Victory cast the creature and Lightning Bolt during Quick Cast. I think that'd be a great move. Or just Lightning Bolt and Lightning Bolt. That would also be... Can you do that? Lightning no, Bolt. Can't. Lightning Bolt, Arc Lightning. I'd like to see that. That would actually be a pretty cool move to see. Right now? Hell yeah. You know, Lightning, or Isn't Arc Lightning five? It's five. Yeah. I think Lightning Bolt Jetstream would be good. Can you afford that? No, he can't afford that. Lightning Bolt Jetstream, boom. Or just Lightning Bolt Arcane Zap. You yeah. get more dice for... Yeah, that's fair. I don't see that. Just pew pew. Pew pew pew. I mean, I guess you could like hold a rust in your hand, so if there's armor... Yeah. Well, his earlier question. Well, he doesn't need to lesser teleport that guy. He has first initiative. He could just move him. No, yeah, well, I mean, why move the gargoyle? <laughs> It doesn't make, you know, it's not going to help you. <laughs> they can't guard you twice. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, he's not hes not in danger of dying. You know? Well, he's I not know. in danger of death this second, but the longer this game goes, I think, and the less he uses that gate uh, with mana worms, I, I don't see it. The, no, the granted, victory... If he just hits the mage, it's game. Yeah. This game rests with that elemental wand. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, really, if he just even like went in with the worm to attack Naya, and then went into the wizard and punched her in the face, and then lightning bolted, I would still be okay with that. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd be a little worried about that. Um, I just thermal event. Oh, Leviathan is out. Oh, now it's going <laughs> Oh, this could. I mean, this could be Masters of Bears game. So I'm just saying, a man. Quick, a quick note I want to make that I don't see enough. We were just talking about Siren's Call being underused. What the Siren could do from right here is Siren's Call, the Water Elemental, and have him go bash whatever, either the Guard for or the, the Wizard. Yep. For the plus two. You will get the plus two uh, melee to it, and that could, yeah. that's a lot of dice. I mean, that last sentence in Siren's Call ability, the friendly aquatic creatures gain melee plus two. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is yeah, so... It, it's huge. You get that a bear strength. Used you get a bear strength. So one of the turn. things that like, makes that you can use the echo with, you can use the echo to cast your creatures for you and then have your quick cast pretty much be permanent Siren's Call. And yeah. keep Siren's Calling a That's creature fair. that is attacking something. That's fair. Does he target the Leviathan? Uh, no, he targeted the um, Lesser Teleport. Oh, Master Sloth Bear targeted the... Oh, maybe it's just like, look, I have a Leviathan. Isn't know, it pretty? Just... 
Oh, okay. That's cool. During QQ, I like that. QQ. Okay, so he's gonna... I think he's trying to Siren's Call. He's gonna Siren's Call. The Century. Just drag it from the thing. I don't, I don't think he knows how to do that. Yeah, just... Yeah. It, it, that was not automated. So I guess we could make an attack bar that does zero damage, or zero dice rolled that just mm. does 100% Siren's Call. We could do it if people want to roll dice. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think so. Oh, there's a Siren's you know Call. Do it. Make it so, man. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. give you if the If I work. had spare time and I had a team, <laughs> that would be pretty cool, maybe. That would be pretty neat. Seeing as I'm the only one working this one, I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, I just don't have the time. <clears throat> Ooh, he's going to run into a there go. Pump, which I think was the point of everything that um, the wizard's been doing, you know, putting him into a mana problem. But Yeah. I mean, if this mana worm does actually do damage, that's all of his mana. That's then. exactly what I was yeah. thinking. <laughs> all right. This is a hydrothermal vent. He doesn't need any mana to reveal it. No, he also does. Because no, he, he needs one, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't have the... He doesn't have the ring. Does the ring works on Siren's Call? Does it? I don't actually know. No. It's just it's hydro. Yeah. It's just hydro stuff. Yeah, it does not work on Siren's Call. <clears throat> Alright. The worm's like, maybe I'll go? Nope. Maybe I'll go. Uh, Wizard says, maybe I'll go bolt. somewhere else. Just maybe lightning I'll bolt. go. Just lightning bolt. Oh, this is a smart move. We see this. We see an attack. Nope, no attack. All right. <laughs> nope, no, no attack. <laughs> Come on, man. Victory, you gotta believe in yourself, man. Yes, yeah, that's true. Why? Oh yeah, because you cast the thing. But no, I can't intercept anyway. So I'm just gonna like do that. Yeah, do what? Hmm. Uh, in the last turn, I would just keep a target until it happened. So I'm just going to like keep it on there. You would keep a target to what? I just like target whatever the problem is, and then I just wait, you know? Oh, I don't see a target. That's why I'm asking. Oh, you don't see a target? Nope. Oh, do my targets not work? Like, I wonder if spectators because don't I'm a spectator? It. Oh, man, I've been doing this the whole time, and just no one sees it. What? Uh, I've been I've been doing it the whole time, too. I don't I don't, see, <laughs> I don't see yours. All right, it's the spectators that get that it, doesn't the work. YouTube watchers. Uh, okay, so he rolls seven dice, gets eight damage and a stun. Sometimes all that you gotta do huge. is just attack, dude. We believed in you there. You see, if we would have, if you would have just arcane zapped instead of the lesser teleport, this game would be over. And uh, now that actually leaves the the siren open to a, a worm attack, it's just one die, so he can't kill him, but he can do two damage. Yeah, I'll say it's a one die attack, but that's exactly. Well, you have very little life left. So, I, I mean, think that's fine. Basically, three life less left for Master Slothbear. So I mean, he's gonna need to do something because he is going to die. I think he was planning to Red meditate Siren this turn. is about to die. Yeah, I mean, I could see him meditating because I would give him mana to do stuff. Meditate. And now he's stunned. He now can't, he can't meditate. Dude, when he's this done, but... he seriously, victory has gotten like every stun, man. Like it has been crazy. <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah, like granted, the lightning bolt is is good for stunning, but dang. Oh yeah, he's using the right spells for that. It's just oh, yeah, it's, it's also been it's, it's been good for him. It's been working. It's a Latin fans quote in the uh, lightning bolt. That's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> an old uh, designer for Mage Wars. That's pretty neat. Uh, good old Aaron. Oh yeah, and he's a wizard. Psh. The the spires are supposed to be like wizards, if I remember right. So now he's gonna guard. Because she's like, dude, you're dead, Siren, and there's a mana worm that's going to tentacle you. Still, yeah, he's saving that one mana to see if something comes in here for the hydrothermal vent. 
Um, Our girl has to. Uh, what is it? So, like, does the sentry, does it use its action, then the marker gets returned, or is it at the end of the whole action phase? Creature action phase. Once it's, so once it's, it's action. action. Yeah. So he could save it, wait for the sentry to move, and then do another call. Right? Yeah, he can do two calls as long as there's only yeah. one out at a time. Yeah, exactly. Do I pay the mana? I think you do, man. Just go for it. Else you're going to use your two mana, mana on. Believe yeah. in your worm. <clears throat> I, I guess that's what I kind of like about Mage Wars, is that you kind of... Um, you have to be decisive in a lot of things. <laughs> like, if you're going to attack something, like you really have to like attack it. You know, You can't just like passively be like... I'll do. Oh, he got two damage too. Damn. Hydrothermal oh, vent triggers. <laughs> oh yeah, if, they gotta if, do that real quick. If that's a hydrothermal, it could fizzle. If that's oh yeah, that's it. Vent. But it could fizzle. The counterattack gets three damage. Um, I don't know why. Uh, did he pay a minute to move? Yes, he did. Okay. I'm not sure what it is, so it could just be oh, a, an astral anchor. Pretty sure, it's, pretty sure it's a vent. Because Naya cast it, so it pretty much. Oh has to yeah, be a vent. you're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a zone enchantment cast by Naya in a siren. It's the mana. It's the, it's one thing I haven't been able to watch this game, at these games is the familiars. Does he? Does he have the mana? Is, oh, does he, he did before. Uh, he did before he had the worm attack. Yeah, because it only costs one, because it's in a chalice. Yep. Now drag it again, all and right. we're all good. I mean, it could just kill. It's very possible. <laughs> Furious typing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, so you got a five dice stack against the mana worm. Otherwise, all is lost. And that's a kill. Holy oh. shit, yeah. Right, so, so zero damage. So Naya is still guarding. Yep. He just rolled five. But... Damn, six critical, man. This is like either yeah. you roll crits or you roll nothing in this game. Crits or nothing. You jerk. Catch covered. I just attack the water or the obelisk with the water elemental. That's not a bad idea, actually. Attack the mage, man. He's got no mana. <laughs> oh, he has no mana. Brilliant. I need a bigger screen. Oh, man. <laughs> kind of I screen do, too. I want to get back to my... I have two screens at home, and now I'm out here with my laptop, which is a small screen. <laughs> Can you hook, like, your TV up, maybe, to your laptop? Not with the way this is, the room is set up. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. I and actually, I, I just down. recently got... I oh, can't move, he's stunned. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, that... I mean, victory is, like, clamped down, man. I'm getting a stun every single time he gets laid. Yeah, no, like, seriously, he's gotten crazy amounts of stuns, like... I don't think I've ever gotten this lucky with a wizard. And the <laughs> That's stun. because you're a priest player and you get this lucky with days rolls. Yeah, you know what? Right. I switched to priest because, you know what? Wizard betrayed me in the stuns. <laughs> wizard betrayed me. That chain lightning. <laughs> that chain lightning, back. man. <laughs> Given that you didn't get your 50% chance all the time. <laughs> that would have mattered. <laughs> basically has a 90% days chance. I, I remember there was a point in time that I would double move turn one, wizard's tower, jet stream in the enemy's corner because it was yep. just, you could do it and it was like crazy, man. <laughs> oh my god, it was yep. so fun. Uh, and I they'd be that. like, well, I gotta start putting on armor. Turn yeah, one. 
And if he just gates turn one and I put on armor, I'm just, I don't know, I, that was a bad call. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not always bad to give him one or two out of no, the gate. But... No, it's not. But it was just kind of a funny thing, because now they're like, no, I have a wizard's tower. <laughs> yep, it's hard to hide from those. You just need to run a lot of attack spells now. Yeah. Which isn't a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I still have wizard's tower in my book. I, I think I might. I've been wanting to make a new wizard tower wizard. I just haven't, and obviously I can't do it yeah, for this turn I mean, anymore. Oh well, I guess I can do it if I want to play wizard twice, but I really don't think I do. I mean, honestly, a lot of damage for my wizard nowadays is just from the Avarium longbow with Hawkeye and then Arcane Zap with Hawkeye. Yeah, you know, it's tons of damage just immediately right off. Yeah, the mana efficient as hell too. Yeah, looks like the. I think, uh, you know, one of the best things you can do is get rid of the wizard's Hawkeye. Yeah. I mean, most wizards will run maybe two. Very rarely more than one, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. As long as you do it early, yeah, I agree. He's, if he's, you do it late in the game, there's no point. We're all targeting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's going to automatically tell him, hey, there's a guard. Yeah. So. Thanks for automating that, Shark. You're the man. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Hey, give that one to. It was either ACG or Psych who did that one. Oh, really? Nice. Okay. I thought it didn't Actually, do it for it, a while. Uh, so it did, did on. It did on 2.0, and since ACG. I, I recreate or I redid 2.0, but they started a lot of the stuff. I, I know talked, ACG did. The, I haven't talked to ACG code. in forever, man. I'm about 99% sure ACG did the internet code or the intercept code. Yeah, he made a lot of that code. <laughs> he did. He's but, the he's the wizard. Psych and I are just keeping everything up. Yeah. Minimize and resize the screen. Dude, what is wrong with your laptop, man? Everybody's using a laptop. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to play on a laptop, man. Like, you I love like... my desktop, too. Oh, my God. The return. Oh, <laughs> That wow. return hit. It killed That's your them. gargoyle. It... No, it didn't no, kill it's them. One left. one left. Oh, my God. Uh, just to note, this wow. gargoyle is grounded. It is not flying right now. So, um... Yeah, it can just be punched to death. Oh, because of the freaking Leviathan. The Leviathan! <laughs> <laughs> so it's just think about walking that. over, man. If there isn't a heal coming out of the Siren, then I think that the Siren's going to die. I mean, or turn one die. heal, yeah. At this point, the Siren... I, I can't imagine the Siren has a heal in that book at all. Right, with that many cards still, I'm not disagreeing. I mean, I I'm just, I don't see any way out of this without a spike heal. I, I don't think Master Sloth Bear really or knows, like, really poor roll. when he's in dire danger, how to, like, retreat. You know, like, a lot of Mage Wars, when you start engaging, you just, like, sort of stick together. And it's really hard to, like, start figuring out how to unstick, you know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's got some serious board presence advantage at this point. It's yeah, just a he does. couple rounds too late, and if yeah. he's going to die in the process, it doesn't help him. So unless he has a way to stop the wizard from doing damage. Anything. You, you know what I would do? Um, he doesn't have the mana for this, but probably teleport two, run to a corner, and then double wall, and just be like, oh, he has evil claw boots. He has evil claw boots. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, the, the, the water elemental maybe could... Uh, he didn't have enough damn mana for any of that yet. Yeah. I was thinking the water elemental problem. could uh, help keep it in place. The wizard, I mean, but you just teleport and climb over. Yeah, you gotta teleport too and then put on a blur or something. Oh, a blur. I'd love to see that card again. You could always, uh, I guess, get rid of the boots. I don't know. Uh, Naya could. That's what I mean. Yeah. Put up a wall right now. A wall right now would, would help. I would mean. It? I he mean, just moves one, then and Yeah, it's, I mean... At that point, I'd rather surging I guess you could double... Well, no, you can't, because... No, wait, he's restrained. So he could double move. So he double moves... Double wall? He can't afford double wall. No, I, I think... Uh, can he if even... you're going to run... I, I don't think wall helps here. I think you either need to spike heal, or you need to absolutely... A uh, blur would help, obviously. Yeah. Um, daze the crap out of the wizard and yeah. find a way to keep him dazed? I don't know how you do that. Unless you put blind on him or something. Uh, <laughs> blind will only help so much, too. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, it's true. Blind will only help at the end. Oh, he could uh, Rolling Fog with his quick cast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, but the wizard can still move, too. Uh, yeah, I don't think that'll help him, because he's yeah. still, yeah. 
Mm. If he goes straight down and rolling fogs, then the wizard can't get to him this turn. Yeah, he can. He can just move one. That's, yeah, never mind. Scared is one. I mean, he could double move and then a reverse attack. I think his best plan is actually just to do surging wave into the wizard and hope oh, that he Oh, yeah. That's not a bad idea. He's got a 50% chance to survive it yeah. if he does that. I mean, that's the and, cheapest and that's, thing to do. So you get a, The cheapest, and I, yeah. my honest opinion, that's the best one. And I don't think there's a good option here. Yeah, he's at 20 you just have to hope the daze triggers. I mean, even then, as a if you don't get you out of there, you have to hope the daze triggers at least once. Because if you if it doesn't work once, then you just use your action and lightning bolt in the quick cast. So I mean, so the best response none of them are good that, action. The best response to that as a wizard is just double move, get rid of the daze, and then hit you with a seven die attack. Although right? interestingly enough, you could double daze. Oh, double daze. Because you have you keep surging wave with the siren. You could put a surging wave onto uh, Naya. Oh yeah, yeah that That's would be interesting. No, I don't, I don't know, know if how I, you... I don't know if it would help though if you just double move and then immediately quick cast your your attack spell. No, I mean don't double move. You stay where you are. It's your own... running away is not going to help you. You need to stay in that shallow sea. <laughs> That's okay. I get it. Ooh. You have to stay where you are. So you you surging wave in the quick cast, get the days hit days triggers. Maybe uh, now because yeah, there's cause still quick cast. Gonna, you just got to quick cast it. Yeah. You, you know, just got surging wave. Like crap. Surging wave and then dissolve. Oh, or, dissolve the wand. I mean, you still have to worry searching about Searching wave, dissolve the wand. The, zap the arcane so zap. Hmm. It's less, less it's attack. You may, you, you may survive the zap, but yeah. it's not going to be... You might survive the zap. It's better than seven days, you know? Yeah, I think <laughs> what, what Scott said is actually a good idea there. Yeah, it's probably the best one. I agree. Still have a problem Unless in that the guard... Ah, gremlin! Still hit you. Thomas, the, gremlins. the gremlins should have been coming out early, but I guess at this point it doesn't matter. So I guess if you actually pay one mana, you can actually move two instead of paying two mana from the orb with the gremlin. Just saying. It's just still a move action. No, no, no it's each, no, move, the, each move is a teleport oh, yeah. instead of a move action. But it's still a move action. I, no, a teleport isn't a move action. Right? I thought each move action he makes it still counts as a move action is based on the verb. It, it reading. might, it each might still move be move action he takes. I don't know. It, I guess he is. I, I guess action. he's taking the move action. It says specifically that you have to take yeah. the move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're right. My bad. I'm not sure. I, 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 I rarely I I would see read it, orb nowadays, so it's all the rules, maybe we so. won't have to worry about it. <laughs> surging wave. Okay. He gets the, the he days. days. And then brace yourself. yourself. All right, he rolls against all against nothing. You know that's cool, man. He does not want to uh, take it's, it's something. <laughs> still a good reveal. It's just a matter of it being like, yeah, of course that would happen. <laughs> yeah. After the dice are rolled, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Uh, as victory, I would just hold hold your action, man. You know, just chill. I guess he could Thanks. arcane zap, but like, meh. That makes a good point, that if Victor E. had prepared Cure... Oh, yeah. He could Cure and then do something. That would be pretty funny. But it's it's no different than just moving twice. and. Yeah. The problem is he only has 10 mana. <clears throat> he being Victor, yeah. At this point in time, he should just walk in fearlessly into the zone and punch the siren. I think if I was face. Victor, I still would have shot with... Oh. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. 50% chance just to end it anyway. But yeah, only 10 minutes. He's been getting pretty lucky, I mean... Even if he doesn't, I don't think that... Sloth he still has the gargoyle. Much. The gargoyle? He still has the gargoyle. Yeah. It's not bad. Right he has now. the gargoyle for the moment, yes. <laughs> I, I love Lightning Bolt, man. I just think it's such a cool spell. Yeah, Lightning Bolt's pretty awesome. It's strong and has a lot of utility. Quick cast. What's he gonna do? Well, he's gonna enchant himself? I think he's gonna reconsider what he's doing. Did he only... Per no, he, no, he didn't. Okay, good. Did he only prep one spell? But no. He prepped two. 
four. He prepped a uh, gremlin, and he prepped two other spells, and he still has a lightning bolt. Yeah. No, victory's in a great spot here. All right, he's going to do it. Let's see some Guns zappage. Out, anyway. it's, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to call it right now. He's going to fail. <laughs> oh! Nope. All right! Nope, you called it wrong. Dude, I suck. And there's oh. the game right there. And it's a GG's, guys. Good game. Yep. GG! Oh, man. That was an inch, like the... Orb and Ob cost some weird stuff, man. I mean, okay, so, I mean, obviously everyone's not, you know, mystery caliber of level playing, but these were actually some fairly even skill game. level, you yeah, know, It was an interesting players. game. I was just, that was, that was a bit, it, the, the combination of those two caused some plans to be derailed and yeah. have to reconsider in the middle yeah, of the right? fight, which I thought was interesting. Like, it was actually kind of interesting watching them both react to each other, because... Yeah. I think they and that's what I mean. Like it caused, losing, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, it caused a a weird looks like a recalibration of what they're trying to do. You know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Are you updating challenge or should I? Uh, if you want to go for it right now. Um. It... All right. Well, I'm going to shut down the stream, guys. So thank you everyone for that joined us live. Um. If you guys haven't uh, checked out the other videos, there's a whole playlist in the Arcane Duels YouTube called Idiom W2. Um, yeah. Or if you want to check out uh, more streams of us live, please go to the Arcane Wonders forum site. Under the events section, there's the Idiom W2. Front section is all the scheduled games, and then also all the videos of games that we've recorded. So, um, Man. yeah. That's going to be it. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm glad glad and, I can join in yeah, before my yeah. schedule levels out again. Putin, I'm giving you the final word. Ames.